Hello, how are you? This is John. Uh, today we're going to start with the tip one linear function. Okay, so what is the linear? Linear is the function whose graph index y plane is straight line. That's the linear. So linear function has four different forms. So we need to memorize this form. Okay, the first one is just slope intercept form. Uh, f of x equals mx plus b. That's the form. From here, m is the slope, b is y intercept. Okay. Second one is the point to slope form. When you have this form, y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. But we know that x1 and y1 is the point on the line. Uh, for example, when you have this one, y equals 5x plus 2. This is slope intercept form. From the equation, we can find 5 is slope, 2 is y intercept. So coordinate with this y intercept will be when x equals 0, y equals 2. Okay. Uh, the next one. When you have this one, y minus 5 equals minus 3 x plus 2. This is a slope, a point slope form. From here we can find slope is negative 3. And the point on the line will be when x is negative 2, y is 5. Okay? Okay, the third one is general form. ax plus by plus c is 0. So one side already 0. That's the general form. The last one is just standard form. ax plus by equals c. Variable terms, constant terms separate. That's the standard form. Okay, so the slope between any two points on the line is a constant. Okay, because when you're over here, delta y over delta y x, that's the slope. So this point has a coordinate x2 and y2. The other point, x1 and y1. So delta y is y2 minus y1. Uh, delta x is x2 minus x1. That ratio is the slope. Okay, uh, I'm going to explain this one. A little uh, decla. 5x minus 2. This is 2. Slope is 5. So this is 5x plus 2. When you have x is 1, when you have x is 1 over here, this point has y coordinate. When x is 1, y is 7. That's the coordinate. So what's the slope? A little bit different. Slope is, you can start from here. Any point is OK. You can start from this two. Increased by one unit. That is increased by one unit. So how much increase in y? This is increased one. Delta y. Delta y is what? Not seven. Okay. That is five, isn't it? Okay. The slope is what? Delta y over delta x, which is five. That's the slope. For example, from the graph, if delta x increased by 2 unit, so what is the increase in y? Increase in y, delta y to how much? 2 times 5 is 10 unit increase. Okay, slope. Okay, all right. Now we're going to have some uh, practice, SAT practice over here. Uh, for a linear function f, f of 0 is 2, and f of 3 is 5, if k is f of 5, what is the value of k? So how can you start? We have a three point. When x is 0, y is 2. When x is 3, y is 5. When x is 5, y is k. That's the all three point. So now let's find the slope between these two. 
y2 minus y1, 5 minus 2, 3 minus 0. That is equals to 1, isn't it? Okay. The next two point, k minus 5 over 5 minus 3, k minus 5 over 2. That's the slope. But this is the linear, the slopes are equal. So, k minus 5 over 2 equals 1. Okay, from here we can see k equals 7. Okay, that's it. Okay, try number 2. We have also three points in the table. Okay, when x equals 0, y is a. Okay, that's the meaning. So, from these two points, we're going to find the slope. Okay, 12 minus a over 1 minus 0. That's the slope. Now, take the other two points. b minus 12 over 2 minus 1. That's the slope. That must be equal. So, denominator 1 and 1. Okay, the numerator should be equal. Okay, numerator should be equal. So, 12 minus a equals b minus 12. Okay, now you can see a plus b. Right, plus a plus a. So that is equals to what? 24, isn't it? So we don't have to find the value of a and b individually. Okay? Okay, now try number 3. Uh, linear function is given by ax plus by plus equal to That is general form. But there is a constraint. a is positive, b is negative, and c is positive. Okay. The best way is we need to find the slope intercept form. Because slope intercept form gives us what slope and y intercept. That's why. So by equals minus ax plus minus c. So divided by b. So negative a over bx minus c over b. That's just slope and in, and intercept form. Now take a look slope over here. Minus. That's the slope. A is positive. This is positive. B is negative. What is this? Negative times positive divided by negative, it is positive. The graph has positive slope. Now take a look y intercept negative c over b that is y intercept c is positive b is negative negative times positive and divided by negative still positive so that means the graph has positive slope and positive y intercept. Choice D is the answer. Okay. Okay, now let's go to number four. If f is linear, f of three is two, and f of five is six, what is the y intercept? Okay, we have a three point. When x is three, y is two. When x is five, y is six. When x equals 0, y intercept is b. Okay? You're going to find out y intercept. Okay? From these two points, 6 minus 2 over 5 minus 3, that is 2. That's the slope. Now take a look at these two points. b minus 6 over 0 minus 5, that should be equal to 2. Okay? So from here we can say uh, b minus 6 equals negative 10, isn't it? So b equals negative 4, right? That's why we can find uh, y-intercept. Choice D is the answer, okay? Uh, the next one, uh, we're going to jump. Okay, now take a look at number 8. Number 8. So we have some formula. F equals 9 pfc plus 32. That is the equation, okay, the converting uh, from uh, Celsius to Fahrenheit. But over here, Fahrenheit temperature increased by 27 degrees. So you can use this delta F equals 27. That is not coordinate, okay? 
that is the increased portion. So that's why we use delta F, M. Okay, delta F. Uh, which is 27. Oh, the next one. We're going to find what increased in Celsius. Delta C. That's just slope, isn't it? Okay. So delta F over delta C, that's just slope. 9 over 5. Okay. So put this number in the equation. Delta F is 27. 27 over delta C equals 9 over 5. Okay. So 9 times 3 is 27. 5 times 3 is 1. 15. Okay. So delta C will be 15. That's the answer. Choice A. Okay. Now take a look. Uh, number 10. Take a look number 10. Okay. They are tangent each other. Uh, the radius of circle is 5. The radius of circle is 5. This is 5. This is a 5. That's your center, okay? This is a 5. This is a 5. Then, what is the value of t? Okay? Uh, this one looks a little bit, a little hard, okay? We make the line and another line over here. So, this coordinate is 8. The length is 8. So, from here to is 5. This one will be 3, right? This also radius is 5. Okay, this is a triangle, right triangle triplet. 3, 4, 5, isn't it? So, this length will be 4. So, what is t? t is what? From here to here, right? That's t. So, t equals 5 plus 4, which is 9. That's the answer, okay? Okay, now take a look at number 15. Uh, in the xy plane above, point P uh, is on the line L. What is the value of M? So this point is uh, up here. 42 and M. So this point is y-intercept, which is 0, 2. This is x-intercept. You can use negative 3 and 0. That's your coordinate. Okay, now let's find a slope from this two. M minus 2, 42 minus 0, that's the slope. Now choose these two points. 2 minus 0, 0 minus minus 3. They must be equal. Okay? Alright. Now let's find the value of M. M minus 2, simplify. Okay. 42 equals 2 over 3. Right? So you can use cross multiplication. So 3m minus 6 is 84. 3m equals 90. From here, m equals 30. Okay? So when x is 42, the value of m will be 30. Okay? Choice B is the answer. Okay, the next tip too is the rate of change. So I'm going to finish this uh, rate of change too. Okay. So the line is a constant slope. That's why the rate of change will be constant. Okay, so you can say uh, uh, the slope of the line is constant rate of change. Okay, uh, for a curve, On the curve, the slope between any two point will be different. Okay, uh, that's why we use different name, average rate of change. When you choose two points on the curve, here and here, so we make a straight line, which is what secant. The name of this line is called what secant. Okay, secant over here. Okay, so. The slope of this line is called average rate of change. Okay, that is a little bit different name. Okay, average slope, constant slope. Okay, okay. Now number one, we try uh, some um, practice. Number one, uh, what is the average rate? Because that is not constant, so we know that that is not 
line okay so up here exchange to what zero and four so we're gonna find out y coordinate when x equals zero and 42 uh four okay so what is this when x equals zero what is the valuable y negative four when x is four what is the valuable y 1 over 2 times 4 squared is 16 minus 4, right? That is equals to another 4, isn't it? Okay, so what is the average slope? Average slope is 4 minus minus 4, right? Over 4 minus 0, which is 8 over 4 is 2. That's the slope. But this slope name is average rate of change or average slope okay uh number two we have equation dt equals 4.9 t square okay so we're gonna find the average speed which is why speed is rate so what is the average speed when t is one so we're gonna find the when t is one what is d okay so D1 equals 4.9, isn't it? Okay, when um, N is 3, what is D3? Okay, maybe you can use your calculator, okay? So, uh, let me see. 4.9 times 3 squared is 9. Okay, so 4.9. 44.1 All right, now let's find the average rate of change average slope Average Slope which is every speed okay same thing 44.1 minus 4.9 over 3 minus 1 okay, that's it 19.6 which is 19.6 that is meter per second okay yeah, that's the speed okay uh, okay uh, today's we did a very important one it's very simple but very important on SAT questions okay so you I want to figure out what the linear functions okay and what is the uh, average slope okay on the curve okay okay that's all so I'm gonna see you uh, next time Okay, so you guys have uh, a wonderful day. Okay? Okay, bye.